Hey guys, today what we're going to be doing is a new workout called Tabata. We have four exercises. We have three volunteers with us today that's going to break down our beginner, our intermediate, and advanced level of the exercise. You're going to be going through that exercise four times, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So you're going to be going through the workout with these guys um, and hopefully we'll have some fun. So we'll take it from here. Awesome. So we've got Nate over here that's going to be going through our beginner exercises. Lauren in the middle that's going to be going through our intermediate. And Alex that's going through our advanced. So the first one up is our squat. So we're going to be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I've got it in my head. If it's easier for you guys to set up a timer when you're at home, go right ahead. These guys have a timer in front of them as well. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four rounds of this. So follow along in the video. And again, you can choose this to do any time during the week. Here we go. We've got three, two, maybe not, three, <laughs> one, here we go. So again, Nate over here on my right, maybe your left is doing squats to the couch. Lauren in the middle right here is doing jump squats. Alex to the left, or maybe your right is doing squats with 180 degree jump. Awesome. So that was 20 seconds. You're going to take 10 seconds off and rest. We're going to do this again three more times. So if once you've figured out what movement you want to do and what version, keep up with it. Again, Nate right here is doing our beginner air squats to the couch. Lauren in the middle is doing jump squats. Alex is doing squats with a turn. Resting, Resting for 10 seconds. We've got two, two more rounds in this. Here we go, guys. Move this thing of toilet paper out of the way. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job. We've got one more round. 10 seconds. One more round of this. Awesome job. Remember, we've got three versions here of the same movement. Three versions of the same movement. Awesome. So we've got rest. We've got three more exercises to go wash through. And wash your hands. <laughs> Next one is going through lunging. So we're going to pause for a second. Nate is going to reset the clock. Catch your breath. We're going through lunging. So we've got Nate over here doing side to side lunging, breaking it down. Lauren over here is doing some curtsy squats. So really breaking it down a little bit slower. For our advanced, we've got Alex over here doing our skaters. So you can see that he's going from side to side. And we're resting for another 10 seconds. Great job, great job. And we're back into it for another 20 seconds. Over here, what you can see is Alex is jumping side to side and pausing on one foot and exploding to the other foot. Lauren is doing the same movement, but breaking it down a little bit slower. And Nate over here is doing side to side lunges. Great job, guys. We've got two more rounds in this, two more rounds. Push through. Push through. Great job. So again, throughout this workout, choose what modification of the exercise you need to do. Here we go. 
Great job, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Even turn into a partner workout. But may remember, social distancing. So <laughs> maybe not this week with this workout. Maybe in the future when you do this with your team. <laughs> Great job, guys. Awesome. Oh, that was it, right? Yep, that, that was our last round. Remember, that was four rounds. We're continuing to our last two exercises. Our next one is using jumps. So Lauren's gonna pull out a umbrella that you can use for line jumps, and Nate is gonna use that as the beginner level. So again, this can be used for any, any um, object at your home. Right now, we're using an umbrella to jump over. Alex and Lauren over here will be doing an invisible jump rope. If you have a jump rope at home, you can use a jump rope. But what we're gonna be doing is demonstrating with an invisible jump rope because we don't wanna hit the lovely thing. So here we go. We're gonna do four rounds of this. Nate is doing jumps over the umbrella. Awesome. Lauren and Alex over here are doing invisible jump roping, making sure their hands are moving, feet are moving. Keep it at a nice pace, over. Remember, these are 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Keep pushing it. All right, we got three more rounds with this exercise. Three more rounds. And we're back in. Great job. Invisible jump roping over here on the side with Lauren and Alex. Nate is demonstrating a beginner level, a modification of jump roping, just jumping over an object. We've got an umbrella here on the ground, but you can use anything that is a little bit tinier at home. All right, we've got two more rounds with this, two more rounds. We've got Alex over here, Lauren jumping in, literally jumping in with an invisible jump rope. And Nate finishing up with our beginner level of jumping over an umbrella. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Great job. We've got one more round, guys. One more round with this exercise. Make sure you're doing this. You're breathing through. Keeping that chest nice and up and straight. Breathing through your lungs. And keeping it light on your feet. Great job. Keep pushing through. After this, we've got one more, one more exercise. Woohoo! Good job, everyone. All right, rest. Ooh, we've got that? one more exercise ending with some core. So we're going to have some plank action into this. Nate is going to demonstrate, again, a beginner level, a modification of a plank. He's going to be on the couch over there doing an inclined plank. Alex and Lauren over here are pulling out some mats. If you have a mat at home or anything that maybe has a little bit more cushion, we recommend doing that. A rug is nice. So we've still got Alex doing the um, advanced option. So you'll see what he's doing for a plank. Lauren over here will be intermediate. And Nate over there will be, well actually he's over here right now, but he'll be over there at the couch doing an inclined plank. Again, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, or 10 seconds off. Nate over there is incline. Lauren in the middle will be doing a high plank. Alex over here is rotating between his left and right arm for step up. So he's keeping that plank here. Good. Great job. And remember, if you need to review this exercise in this video before to know what exercise you should be following along with, please do so, so you're more prepared. All right, we've got three rounds left. Great job, guys. Keeping that core nice and tight. Great job. We've got two more rounds. Two more rounds. I'm going to make my way down here. <laughs> Show them a little bit closer. Great job. Thank you. 
Get Nate on the side here with a high plank. Resting. Great job. All right. We got one more. Last round. Almost done. Remember, Lauren in the middle here is doing intermediate of holding a plank up high. Alex is doing advanced. And Nate over here is beginner level holding a plank on the couch. Perfect. Woo. That concludes the workout for the week. And I'm going to have Lauren over here hold the camera a little quick. Awesome. So thank you guys and thank these volunteers for coming out and showing you guys another workout for the week. Um, every Wednesday we'll be launching a new workout, a new challenge for you guys, for our athletes, for our coaches to join in, uh, for our unified partners and anyone in the community through SO Main to join in. So we'd love for you guys to keep going, keep grinding at home with these workouts. Um, remember at the end of the week on Sunday, what I need you to do is to um, complete a Google form. We'll send out those links again um, and also complete um, a, cert a um, certificate with your name, the number of workouts you've completed. If you do those three things of the workouts, the Google form and taking a picture of yourself with a certificate, you'll be entered into our drawing to get some pretty cool prizes. So keep up the good work. We'll see you guys soon. Good luck.